Stop. Hammer time. Okay, okay, that's probably copyrighted, so I'll stop. Hammer is a weapon you see a lot of people hating on, mostly for Saren Nair and how easily spammable they are. Obviously, not the only reason it's disliked, but I actually really like the weapon. In fact, it might be in my top 5. I mean, come on. I love playing Magyar, Cassidy, Bodvar, Sentinel, maybe someone else I'm forgetting too. But most, if not all, the Hammer Legends are pretty enjoyable. The weapon feels really smooth to play, and around a diamond level, you can't just rely on a single move to win. Maybe with other weapons you can, but with Hammer, it can become predictable pretty quickly. So, without further ado, and with my very simple knowledge of the weapon that I just said is in my top 5, let's look at the attacks. This is gonna get really long. Trust me, the attacks look simple, play out simple, but in a combo sense, take more effort than you think. Even though Hammer is a dex heavy weapon, it can still be played on low dex. Hammer neutral light at lower damage has low force, allowing for neutral light side light starting at 6 dex, and at only 0 damage. And yeah, that's the only true combo starting at neutral light. Don't get me wrong, the move is useful, but just outshined by other more reliable moves. Although, it still goes true with a ton of other moves starting with them. Side light is just a simple hit forward, it's nothing too special. Side light chase dodge neutral light is true starting at 4 dex, and at only 0 damage. So, yeah, once again, not super great on the true combo starting. Trust me when I say this though, down light is where all the magic happens. Let's go through a list of simple combos that people may or may not use. Down light GC neutral light, not one I see often, but works up to pretty high damages. Down light side light is a very common one, likely used for damage buildup. Placement can be a bit hard, but it's true up to 70 damage. Downlight side light chase dodge neutral light is all true on Cassidy only, starting at 9 dex. I thought it was only at 0 damage, but apparently it goes up to 70. Downlight GC downlight. I feel like it could be useful in a ton of different ways. Going into Nair, Sair, Reverse Dare, Recovery, but it's DIable because of double downlight. Although GC downlight Nair is a combo I see people use very often. You can do it grounded too, but it's easier gravity cancelled in my opinion. Downlight Sair. Pretty much bread and butter combo. It's true starting at 10 damage, but can be a bit tricky to hit that early. Later damages, it's much easier. 9 deck specific Cassidy stuff again, so you can get downlight, Sayer, downlight, and a whole string of stuff later on. Although I'm not sure it's doable anymore because of the recent Sayer nerfs. And try your own will though. Downlight reverse dare is a very useful one if you hit your downlight stack. True up to 140 damage, but it can also be done with a dash jump dare. Downlight recovery is there too, of course, which can lead into tons of other complicated Russian Mafia combos we all know and love. Like anyone with a reverse dare, say or nair, although I won't be getting into them. You can do a gravity cancel though, it kind of makes it easier. Finally, and done with downlight. Good god, sorry for staying there so long, but it's literally Hammer's most used move. And going into Hammer's aerial attacks, we won't be here as long. Hammer nair doesn't start off any true combos, but does go true with some downlight combos as you saw before. And downlight nair and Russian Mafia shenanigans. It's pretty much an anti air move and hits hard. Although it got hit by steering nerf, the move is still pretty good. Sayer goes back into some of my favorite true combos on Hammer. Sayer Chase Dodge Neutral Light I don't think is true anymore because of recent Sayer nerfs, but I know for a fact Sayer Downlight is. Very lovable combo, but this means that if you hit Sayer Downlight, you can combo with pretty much anything else Downlight could combo into before. Cassidy literally has Sayer Downlight Side Light Neutral Light and just a whole bucket of combos. Sayer Downlight Sayer is one I personally like though. Sayer Downlight Reverse Dare is also very useful as well. Okay, are we done with Downlight finally? Yes? Thank you. Let's move on to the first strange move of Hammer, Dare. You ever wanted to see a Dare move send up? Well, here you go. Yes, strange, but actually works in several different ways. Dare Nair is true at 6 dex, 0 damage. Not extremely useful, but nice to have. And same thing for Dare Recovery. Only true combos Dare has, but I found Dare to be very useful in getting edge campers back up the stage. And you better believe Dare is useful in all those Russian Mafia combos. Okay, I'm getting war flashbacks, let's forget about it, you already get the gist. Recovery is the second and last weird move on Hammer because it sends down. And because of this, Hammer Recovery goes true with every single move. Well, besides Ground Pound. Gravity Cancelled Neutral Light, Gravity Cancelled Side Light, Gravity Cancelled Down Light, Nair, Sayer, Dare, and even Recovery. I'm not saying it's OP, in fact I think it's much harder to do than a very specific other weapon's true combos, but it sets up for very good combo potential. Stylish at least. Regardless of that, it's a very good move on its own, especially off stage. Now the move I know a lot of people complain about on Hammer. Personally, not me. The last but not least, Hammer Ground Pound. It doesn't go true with anything, it comes out pretty slow, but it hits crazy hard right below you. No giant swing around or steer ability, just a simple hard hit below you. It's the least complicated move on Hammer, but it's still very good. That was probably the longest that part of the video has ever taken. But finally moving on, what are the reasons people like Hammer? There's two reasons I want to put together, that being one, Hammer is a heavy weapon, and two, Hammer is dex reliant. By this I mean that not every single Hammer Legend is going to play the same. 
They're a bit more unique when it comes to how you play them. Cassidy, you're really reliant on the 9 dex combos. Taros and Nash, you only have 2 decks, so you might as well just hit hard. Magyar is slow but tanky. Yumiko has Downsig. Literally, that's it. And the other Hammer Legends I forgot about too. They all have their own things to them. They never feel too reliant on decks. They're playable at any stat combination. Of course, I can't not mention the super flashy combos. Even though I don't know how to specifically do them, I love playing at Small Fang Wild specifically for that reason. Even if they're completely pointless and just for style points. I'll keep this section short, let's hop into why people don't like Hammer. This one might just be a personal issue, but the weapon struggles heavy with getting reliable hits. With Downlight being the main move you're going to use, people begin to easily predict it. The move starts up quick, but doesn't hit in a big area, sort of forcing you to play neutral. For a player like me who loves to play aggressive, it's doable, but it just hurts to play. And of course, we can't forget about Nair, Sarah, and Recovery. Nair and Sarah have big hitboxes, and personally before the last patch, I thought they were really good too. But with the steering nerf and Sarah hitboxing nerf, I think they're just average moves now. Recovery, being able to just grab anyone above you and slam them down, can be annoying at white damage and up to red damage. Personally not things I dislike about fighting Hammer, but I get why this scene is annoying. So, with Hammer being in my top 5 weapons, I'll try to give useful tips, as usual tradition. Tip number 1, Downlight. I said the exact same thing about Sword, Downlight is extremely important to Hammer's kit. More important than Sword, actually. Learn to space and time hits correctly, know what combos to use at the right time as well. Here's what I mean about that. If you hit a Downlight stack, you're not going to be able to do a side light. Go for a Reverse Dare or a Gravity Cancel Neutral Light. Same for a normal Downlight hit, too. Go for Side Light or a Dash Jump Dare. And, of course, at higher damage, go for Donnelly's Sair, or if you're stylish, do some Russian Mafia shenanigans. At your own risk, of course. Tip number two, Dex. It's important knowing what combos you're actually going to have available to you, considering your decks. You aren't going to be able to pull off Downlight, Side Light, Neutral Light on a character like Scarlet, or any Hammer character for that fact, or Neutral Light, Side Light on Terrors, for example. Check up on whether the Hammer Legend you're playing benefits from Dex, or if you should even put into Dex while playing them. Tip number three, Sig True Combos. I pretty much go through this every time, but the Hammer Sig True combos go extremely hard. Clover has Downlight Side Sig at 130 damage above, Cassidy has Neutral Light Side Sig at 0 damage, and Downlight End Sig in general. And apparently 4 more too. Downlight GC Side Sig at 60 damage, Nair End Sig under 20 damage, Recovery GC End Sig, although it's inconsistent, and Recovery GC Side Sig, also inconsistent. I would stick with the first two though. I'm pretty sure Korn no longer has Downlight End Sig, but he does have Downlight Down Sig at 0 damage. Kind of strange if you ask me. Scarlet has Downlight Insig and Downlight Downsig, although Downlight Downsig is only true up to 20 damage. Thankfully. Sentinel has Downlight Insig and Downlight Sidesig, the second one only up to 20 damage. Carol's used to have Downlight Insig, but I believe that also got removed. But he does have Downlight Downsig up to 100 damage and Recovery GC Insig, probably also inconsistent. Thor has Downlight Insig and Downlight Downsig. Yumiko, not counting Downsig, has Downlight Neutral Sig, Neutral Sig Sair, and Neutral Sig Chase Dodge Reverse Dare. Apparently, Nash has a ton of weird true combos revolving Downsig, but I'm not going to be getting into those. Although, he does have Downlight Side Sig at 120 damage. Tier list wise, out of S, A, and B, I want to place Hammer in just A tier. I honestly think Hammer is really balanced, although before I put it in S minus tier. The weapon isn't extremely OP, and neither are a lot of Hammer Legends either. Not saying they're all bad, I just think they're balanced for the most part. Hammer is really unique though for a ton of different reasons. With the Russian Mafia combos and the downward sending recovery, upward sending dare, it's got some good stuff. And throughout these weapon analysis, I've realized I haven't even been looking at the play rates. Not that it matters extremely, but it still kind of does. It's fun to look at anyways. Regardless, Hammer is about the middle with play rate. I have no clue what even counts as an average play rate, but compared to the other weapons, it's just average. I mean, I get why it's average, like why play Hammer when you can just pick up something easier, more simple. Hammer isn't extremely complicated, but it's not extremely hard either. Well, okay, I struggled with learning Downlight Sayer for the longest time, but don't make fun of me. Hammer isn't underrated, that's for sure. People know its power, and BMG doesn't really abandon the weapon either with its 10 legends currently. Overall, I like Hammer. I find it fun to play when I'm not feeling like playing Spear, Katars, or Greatsword, and so on. It just depends on the day I'm having. The way the weapon plays, it's easy to make mistakes fighting it. Likely running into stairs or downlights can take your stock away in seconds. But it isn't annoying to fight for me. Hardly at all, in fact. Thank you for watching this weapon analysis, and I hope that you're still trying to figure out who the hell Henry Coates is, because I for sure do, and he's going to be the next Legend analysis. I hope the hammer remains like the analysis too, and I'll likely be corrected for my wrongdoings as well. As usual, anyways. Thanks for watching, and of course, keep on brawling.